What's up viewers, it's Rimbob here and I have another gameplay commentary for you on Search and Destroy on Hard Hat and again I'll be using the Striker mainly because I think that is such a good gun for Modern Warfare 3 and this is a special game because it's the first and last time to date that I've actually played Search and Destroy on Modern Warfare 3 and here's a spoiler alert, we actually win as we do with all the games that I show as I'm not going to really show a bad game except I should be uploading a game where I get crapped on by some people who people may recognise if that makes no sense don't worry you'll probably see in the next week if you subscribe to me and if you like this video why don't you just go ahead and hit the, the like button and if you think it's really really good you might even want to favorite it now I'm actually using the grip attachment as always as it increases the range a little bit slight hand obviously so you can reload all your your spraying shots faster I'm also using hard lines so I get my perks faster and in this it's a specialist point streak meaning that I can get my perks. Uh, I have Scavenger for my first one, and I have Extreme Conditioning for my second one, and I have Quick Draw for my third. And in this game of Search and Destroy, I actually managed to get seven kills, rather than the eight, because I have Hardline, to actually get all perks. And look at that lovely kill cam. Wasn't that just epic? All bullets on target. Win-win situation. Um, things about Modern Warfare 3 I'm not liking at the moment is theatre mode. I'm having a bit of difficulties with it, and also it seems a bit twitchy, that when you sort of turn fast, because I'm a play on an 8 sensitivity, when turning corners and then you play it back, it seems a bit twitchy, seems a bit off, so I don't like it. And uh, this guy, he was just standing there, like a noob, like a pro, like a boss, anything, he was standing there. And uh, I make up these commentaries on the spot, so if you do like these, really, I mean, you must be just insane. And you can tell this is my first game of Search and Destroy, consider I get a lot of challenges done and I level up. I prestige, and um, the thing about prestige, which I actually liked, is you obviously can choose what uh, sort of delivery you want from the, the prestige. You could choose whether to have an extra class, you could choose to have other options. I chose the option to use up my points to keep a uh, well, class. Um, I was misled by this at first, I thought that you would buy the whole setup. But it wasn't if you buy things individually, so for example, I bought the striker shotgun, that's one point. If I wanted to unlock a perk early, that's another point. Whereas I was I was on the, under the impression that you just get them, you know, all in one package from your last setup. Now this is a nice little three, but it came up as a two and a one, which is a shame, because that would have been nice on the kill feed, especially in Search and Destroy. And, um... Yeah, so Modern Warfare 3, I'm liking it. How are you liking it? Tell me in the comments, why don't you? Why don't you like and favourite this? Hint, hint, subtle hints. And uh, we plant the bomb, and we are going to just lose one more game after this. I think it's uh, not the next game, we win that one. Uh, the next game after that, we actually lose. But yeah, if you want me to do anything, like play with any gun, try any challenges, you know, suggest them to me and I'll see what I can do. Even if it's not on Modern Warfare 3, if it's on, hypothetically, Black Ops even, I know that's... Pretty much no one's on that now, as far as I know. Um, I don't know why people diss Black Ops, it's actually an alright game. But uh, I'm actually going for the Golden Camo on the Striker Shotgun, as I unlocked it before I Prestige. You didn't see in the last videos, it, I didn't unlock it then. But yeah, I'm trying to get the Golden one again. It looked quite cool, it's a good status symbol. Just be like, hey look, I've got a Golden Shotgun, what have you got? You've got a Golden Syro, well aren't you hard? So yeah, not a lot of people using uh, shotguns in this game. It's only when people pick up my weapon and kill me with it that I've really been killed by shotguns. Uh, there seems to be uh, more SMG maps uh, than assault rifle maps. Uh, there are some sniping ones, but they are very rare. And uh, no shotgun maps, really. No real... Oh, am I kidding? Every map is a shotgun game. And uh, th this guy just gets turned on. He's been a... Campy m camper pants, as I think Wicked Shrapnel would say. I love that guy. He's actually hilarious. And we defused the bomb, won the match, killed the guy. Boom, done. 3-1. This is actually a really fast game. It's going to be probably one of my quickest ever recordings that I w will ever do. But I'm enjoying these recordings. I uh, would like it if I had a bit more support from people. Just sort of talking about, you know, my commentaries. And uh, I had this comment in my last video from a guy who liked my gameplay. And so, why don't you... Yes, you, the viewer. Why don't you tell your friends about my video? Pass the word around. Get me popular. It would be nice. But, however, fame isn't for us all, so... I would like for people to watch my videos, probably get higher views, more subscribers, because it's something I enjoy doing, just making videos, showing you what I can do. And uh, this is one of the times I die early in the matches, by the way. And uh, this is Azza, 
who I mentioned in the previous video. I met him on Xbox Live, and uh, he done a series of vlogs on his YouTube channel, and I mentioned that in one of my first videos, and he gave me the inspiration to start recording. So, here's one for you, Azza. Cheers for that. And he is trying for the sniping to go for a quick scope, 360 no scope, headshot, why, why, fakies. But uh, he doesn't actually get any that I see. And this guy here picked up my striker and he has no idea, because look at that, slow reload times. And imagine if you just fired the majority of your magazine, you're going to be stuffed. And um, the pro perks, I reckon they're all pretty much balanced. Um, I don't think the any that I've unlocked are really bad. And he just gets crapped on. Uh, if he got the sniper, he would have probably had to deal with the guy at the bottom or the other way around. And uh, I don't reckon that we would have won that match. But uh, boom, quick scope, no scope, bloodbath, headshot. La 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 la. I got two minutes left of this video, so I'm gonna leave it just for my ramblings, as I have been doing. As most of my commentaries are actually just from the top of my head. I don't really plan out my commentaries. So if, even if you want me to talk about a certain something, if you want a, you know gameplay video, but you want me to talk about me or Modern Warfare 3 perks, ideas, etc. Um, by the way, I would go check out a sniping glitch video. Um, what you do is you... Uh, this is easily done in a private match. Get your mate to stand just still. You go up to him, aim through your scope with your sniper. Knife, and then exit the scope. Now then what you do is you walk away, turn towards him, only a little bit away. Then you knife the air and quickly use your equipment. And uh, I won't tell you what happens because it's actually pretty hilarious. And uh, coming to the end of the video... Because we've just won, whoop de whoop, and I always leave in the, the nice little bit at the end so you can see the scores. But yes, just like this video, tell people about it, really pass it around, and I will see you next time, people. Bye!